Welcome to the Custodia Support Forum, where each week we discuss issues related to one of the largest problems in America, child support. Hi, my name is Kai Patterson and I'm your host. Are you owed child support? Does the non-custodial parent of your children avoid your calls, hide their income and assets, or has relocated to prevent paying child support? The Custodial Support Foundation provides you with the services to begin receiving the child support your children need. Call 855-851-HELP now to receive the help your children deserve. According to the Office of Child Support Enforcement and the Department of Health and Human Services, child support arrears have reached over $100 billion as of 2011. Today I have Antoinette Dismukes, who is a custodial parent owed over $62,000 in child support arrears. Mm -hmm. And I have Geneva Ortiz, who's actually been on both sides of the problems of child support. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. How did the problem become so big? A hundred billion dollars owed is 25 million custodial parents that don't even have child support orders. I think from a custodial parent perspective, um, when you initially go into file, uh, you deal with embarrassment, you deal with um, lack of information. When I say information, you're talking about the non-custodial parents address, um, their full name, their social security number. Yeah, now, we, now we're just talking about Filing to get a child support yes, order. Yes, filing to get an order. Okay, and and what you're saying is is that you've got to have a lot of information. Some custodial parents may not even be aware that they need to have at exactly. the time that they file. Exactly. exactly. I mean, when you filed, I mean, you, you um, when you went there the first time, did you have all the information? I did. Okay. <laughs> I did also. <laughs> but I mean, you do have a lot of custodial parents who do not have the proper information that they need. Um, maybe the non-custodial parent is out of the picture. They don't know where they okay. live. So, you know, you need to have that information when you're following the paperwork. Okay, and, and, and when you think about it, okay, you have this information, you file. Now you get a child support order, okay? Why can, can, can the Office of Child Support Enforcement, why can't they collect you know, for 12 and a half million custodial parents. Well, when you say collect, first of all, let's go back to you have an order. For some okay. custodial parents, what is an order? Well, you understand? Well, it's uh, just that. Well, it's, what uh, is uh, an order? Uh, so they go there, they sit in front of the judge, okay. they get an order for them to pay child support, and then the custodial parent think that that's the situation, it'll get collected, and nothing gets collected. Now, the child support office doesn't have to my knowledge, and I've been involved in the system for over 10 years now, almost okay. 11, I've never heard of a collection process. I've never heard of a Well, um, well in all fairness, they do garnish. They, 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 they garnish if you have their, if you know where they work. Okay. Okay, that's the only way you can get anything garnished. If you don't know where they work, You need to have all the information. Nothing. Okay, so if, if they don't know where they work, I mean, what happens then? Nothing. Then you have to go and find out where they work. Oh, so basically you have to do you would need an investigator <laughs> <laughs> which you know can be really costly and a lot of non I mean a lot of the custodial parents you know they're scraping by some working two jobs there was a time where I worked two jobs and I mean you get so complacent sometimes you know in your everyday routine you know I mean I didn't wait to file you know I had all the information I needed but I mean you have a lot of custodial parents who don't you know they just get caught up in the hustle and bustle of raising a child and, you know. I mean, when you think about it, okay, if you're caught up in the hustle and bustle, okay, and you're owed money, okay, why wouldn't you take the time and file when there are resources available to enable the, the non-custodial parent to be forced to pay? Well, again, like I said, sometimes 
the ones who don't file, you know, sometimes it's because they don't think it's worth it. You know, maybe they don't know where that non-custodial parent is, or they just think it's just not worth the time. You know, they don't want to go through the aggravation. And in some situations, you have the non-custodial and the custodial parents who do interact with each other, and then they, you know, want to be friends and you know, and they, they think that if they go to the courts, it's going to cause more friction, not realizing that ultimately they're not doing what they should be doing for the child. Then you have the situation where they're not friends. And if you have a <laughs> hostile relationship, there's fear factors involved in there as well. Okay. So there's so many layers okay. as to how the problem became to be so big. Okay. There must be a lot of non-custodial parents yeah, that are out here that are, uh, that, that are, help that are evading the system they are very crafty see unfortunately the system the child support office they have this um, preconceived notion of a face of a non-custodial parent as a deadbeat someone who doesn't have a job who's low income but for, 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 but for the most part you have working class men who become very savvy and very sophisticated absolutely in ways of manipulating the system because they know yes um, their license will get suspended what if they don't have a license that's checked off they can just catch the train or the bus so it's catch <laughs> Um, if they um, to garnish their check, they, they work under other people's names. Working um, under the work table. Under the table. Um, passport. If they're not going anywhere, what does it matter? Um, I mean, then you have some that actually do leave the country, you know, but or they're CEOs, and so they're paying themselves off the top, and so they're not in the books, you know. But 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 you're right, and but but. The Office of Child Support Enforcement, according to the, the Department of Health and Human Services, 75% of the non-custodial parents that don't pay child support can afford to, but don't. Exactly. So I think they know. They who? The Office of Child Support Enforcement. They know that you know most non-custodial parents aren't deadbeat. Yes, they do Dead know beats. that, but they do not have an FS investigation. They don't, have, they don't have collection services no, outside? they don't. Okay. And they're not going to go after them for you. You know, if they the are. custodial parent isn't putting in that footwork or if they don't have, you know, have the means to do it, you know, the offices aren't doing that for you. you and know. from a custodial parent who is taking care of a child solely by themselves to have to hire an investigator, that's, that's, that's too much money. You'd it's probably end up affordable. spending more on an investigator than what you're owed at the time in some cases. I mean, it's just, you know. You're right. You're it becomes right. overwhelming. Okay, let's talk about the resources available when the Office of Child Support Enforcement can't collect. Why don't custodial parents utilize those resources? The, uh, like again, I said, they're expensive. Okay. Right. For a single custodial parent, everything is affordability. Okay. Affordability and information. Now, if you can't afford it, an investigator. Then how can you, can't you pursue it? You how can't can pursue. you? Okay. You cannot pursue. Understood. Okay, so if you can't afford it, basically what you're saying is I mean, is by the time you, you know, you're paying lawyers and investigators and things of that nature, I mean, y sometimes it's just out of your hand for, for those parents who can't, you know. That, that, that's true. Well, you know, I'll tell you, it's, 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 it's amazing that there's so many parents that have never filed. There's over 25 or, or don't have child support orders. You have another 25 million custodial parents that don't have child support orders, okay? Why haven't they taken advantage of the resources available to them? Well, like we said earlier, you know? It depends on what's going on in that relationship. I mean, everybody's story is different, you know? Some people don't have the proper information. Some people, again, are just, you know, caught up in their everyday life and don't think it's just worth the hassle to just let it go. And then again, you have the situation where the parents either have a relationship or don't have a relationship, but whatever <laughs> side it's on, you know, they're, they're, they're wanting to stay out of the courts, you know. But when you think about it, think of, look, you got 12 and a half million parents that have filed and they're owed over 100 billion. You have an, an estimated 25 and a half million parents that don't have child support orders and it's estimated that they could be owed over 200 billion dollars. I mean, that's 
one third of a trillion dollars. When you think about the resources that are available and the drain on the economy, not to mention the, what, what taxpayers have to pay to foot the bill, you know, for the resources to help these children and families. One thing I want to, I want to make a note of, you, you keep saying resources, resources, resources. Okay. If you have a custodial parent who do not they don't. know that there are resources available, um, it's not a matter of limited education as there is a matter of knowing where to go, how to proceed, who to talk to, because the Child Support Enforcement Office is not telling you. Wow, are you serious? Are you serious? So they don't tell you that I you can get an, an enforcement order. I have never had a case order. manager tell me where I can go to for collections. Tell me how can I get my enforcement order. Tell me um, because he actually had a warrant, and I called and said, "You know, you have a warrant." <laughs> wow. Exactly. So there is so right. A lot areas. of the custodial parents don't know that there's a follow-up process. They right. think I can go down, fall for child support, I'm either going to get it or I'm not going to get it. They don't realize that because they have that order, they can go and file to enforce it, have it enforced. They don't even know about the enforcement part. They just oh. know about filing the child and, support. And that's it. That's well, it. You know, the enforcement is it's like a dead issue. Well, you know, this has been very, very, very insightful. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have in this segment. You know, but I'd like to thank both of you, and I want, would like to encourage viewers to stay tuned. Coming up, we have our legal analyst, and we're going to talk about some of the solutions available to custodial parents that are owed child support and can't collect when the non-custodial parent does have the financial wherewithal to pay.